I am going to be making a very simple word mark in Illustrator. Um, I'm going to pick a nice easy word here, which is a pretty awesome word. Um, using the font Outage, which you can find on LostTypeFonts.com. Um, it's, it's a great free resource, but you can also donate to them. But uh, pretty great fonts on there. So, um, so here's the word awesome. Um, and if we look, we can uh, check if we go to the outline view that it's still text. Um, one of the number one things we want to learn here for today is, is making um, a word mark. So we want to turn that text into outline paths. So what I do is if you hold shift and option, you'll see the cursor change. I'll make a copy and put it off of the board just because I want to make sure, um, just in case I have the right setup with text and everything like that. I always want to make sure that I have original copies of as much as I can. So if I go here and I go up to type, I can create outlines. And if you see that the type is no longer text, I can't edit it. And if I go into the outline setting, you'll notice it's no longer text, it's just shape. So it's no different as far as Illustrator is concerned than circle, square, anything. It's just compound shapes. And by compound, you'll see things like the A or the O, where uh, there's lines interior to the outside lines, and it's cutting out shapes. So when we look at it, we're seeing uh, this one shape has things that you can see through or not. So if we look at this word, and if we just want to put a nice uh, stroke to it, um, what I'll do is I'll go up to the Edit, and I'll hit Copy. And then I'll go up to Edit, and I'll put Paste in back. And if we change the color to something really bright, you know, just so we can see what we're doing here, um, and add a stroke, in this case I'll just put 10. I'll just put a stroke of 10 on here, make sure the red is showing. We'll see, this is what 10 looks like. And if you look really closely, you'll see it's not actually meeting in some of these spots, which is going to make for some really weird extra points. Um, and also, if you look at the stroke, if you look in, in your uh, outline view, you'll notice because it's a stroke and it's not an outline stroke, um, Illustrator in an outline view isn't actually looking at it as a solid shape, which is something we're going to have to take care of. But if we go back to preview and we look at this, we'll say, you know what, we don't really want to get these little lines. And in general, this is kind of a thin stroke. I mean, 10 at this size will hold up if you bring it down, but. Um, I generally, if you notice in most of my stuff, like to go nice and thick, just so, especially now with mobile, you want to have things that can really decrease in size and hold up. So I always try to go in increments of 10s and 5s. So if the 10 didn't work, I'd add another 5 to it and get it up to 15 stroke. And you'll notice that, um, that it's much thicker. So if we look at it, we'll go to Object, we'll go to Path, outline stroke. And if we change our view real quickly to outline again, you'll see that we have a lot of extra lines in here that we just don't want to have that if we're making a nice shape. Um, also, if you were to make other things with this, all these extra points are always a bad thing. You always want as few points as possible to keep a nice clean shape. So if we go back to regular view, and we made this, we want to make this into one path. So if we go down to make compound shape, and then expand, and now if we look at it in that one shape, we'll see all those lines are gone. So it's much cleaner if we click on it, nice and clean. Um, you know, you're not going to have all these extra points. You can even go in there, stuff like this that are really tiny. You just want to select them with your direct select tool, erase them. They're not doing any good. Um, most times I'll actually take a lot of these interior lines that are making weird shapes, and I'll just get rid of them. Uh, sometimes you might want to keep that little window in there, but uh, most times I usually just get rid of it. So, here you go. Here's, here's a nice outline, and we'll change this front text to white, which will just select this default color, get rid of that stroke, and just have it as a solid white, and we'll make this as a solid black shape. And again, uh, we'll reverse it, we'll get rid of the stroke, and here we go. So if we look at it again, it's still a nice shape. So here's a basic, basic word mark. Um, and if you wanted to add a little depth to there, 
You can go uh, edit, copy, and then if we paste it in back, it's there. Um, and we'll, so now we have two versions of this. But if we go to the scale tool and double click on it, uh, it'll give you this little uh, pop-up window. And we, I usually do 95 for this. You could do 90. It depends on how extreme you want the drop shadow. But uh, sorry, the drop depth. But if you look in here, you'll notice that the smaller version is here. So what we want to do is we want to drop it down behind to give the appearance of depth. So um, if I hit Command K, you'll see in the Preferences window, which you could also go up and do, uh, I have a keyboard in Command at 10, which means every time I hit the cursor space up or down, it's going to go 10. Uh, the default is set to 1, but this is something I changed quite a bit based on what I'm working on. So I'll keep it at 10. And if you watch, if I just hit down once, now all of a sudden I have this really nice drop shadow and I have a lot of depth. So this was a very simple way of just making a nice sort of uh, simple word mark, add a little depth to it. Um, it's just sort of a basic, basic um, first step. But if we look at, if we go to view to outline, we'll see that these are two actual compound shapes. We'll actually select them, and then we'll go to make shape. We'll go expand, and now you see it's gone. And it's one nice even shape. And one of the things I like to do is I like to go inside those shapes and erase uh, a number of these things. And these are rounded corners, but I like to erase some of the points so that um, it gives the appearance of a drop shadow. So if I go like this, um, and you can sort of eyeball it, you get the direct select tool and you hold shift, and you notice you, you, if you kind of eyeball it a little bit, you'll sort of all of a sudden get this thing where now all of a sudden it's one complete shape and you can do that with this line and with this line and, and it makes for a much nicer, cleaner presentation. Um, it usually works a lot better with squared shapes because that way you just eliminate and all it makes a nice drop shadow. But, uh, but this is how you make a bit nice, simple word mark.